All right, dozens of medical marijuana patients are rallying for the state to ease up on testing regulations for care products. Tomorrow, a court of claims judge will decide if Lara, the state's regulatory arm, will extend its window for the new round of testing regulations to take place. And tonight, we want to know, do you think medical marijuana caregivers should be required to have their products tested by the state? You can weigh in right now at WXYZ.com slash vote. Meantime, 7 Action News reporter Jen Shans live to explain what's at stake. Jen. Hey there, good evening. This is the sign right outside Wald Lake's dispensary, the greenhouse. It reads patience over profits, and that was the sentiment at today's rally. Protesters urging the state to put the brakes on having a middleman put regulations in place for caregiver products, and that middleman, of course, being the state. Anywhere between, like, three and five hundred dollars. It's easy to spend that. That's how much this mother says she spends on medical marijuana every month for her son who has autism spectrum disorder and is also nonverbal. He bites to the point where his hand is bleeding and he beats his head to the point where he has bruises and has to wear a helmet. And when you see your child doing that, it's the most horrible feeling in the world. If the state requires caregiver product, which is what her son uses, to go through a state licensed testing facility before sale, she's worried she won't be able to buy the medicine he needs. Michelle Donovan is an attorney for a dispensary in River Rouge, the curing corner. She says this new requirement will create a sort of bottleneck in the medical marijuana industry. There's only four licensed facilities to test the products. So if that requirement were to be met, the caregiver then could not directly go to the provisioning center, drop off their product. Under this new rule, it would first need to go to a licensed grower or processing center for testing, and that's added fees. The deadline for this new requirement was April 1st, but it hasn't been enforced yet. In a new lawsuit against Lara, the curing corner is pushing to extend the deadline until the end of this year. This battle started at the end of last year, and lack of product was noticed. When they did the last caregiver cutoff on December 31st, we actually closed our doors. You're using the same product that they've been using for the last six years. Same exact product. Why, why the change? A Lara spokesperson says until a judge decides on this issue, it will maintain the status quo and not enforce that April 1st deadline. They went on to tell me that the goal of requiring all caregiver product to be tested is so that all products can be logged in a statewide system. Of course, they want patient safety. Live in Wald Lake tonight, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. Seems like such a long process. All right, Jim, thank you.